welcome back to my Run, Cook, and Talk show. Annette here, and if you haven't seen me on YouTube, it's because I haven't been. It's been summer, and it's been really busy, and I've just been just enjoying doing hot weather stuff. Um, although I'm kind of tired of it now, so I'm getting ready to, uh, I'm getting ready for fall. I'm all good with that. So anyway, I hope everybody's been okay and doing well and rug hooking and knitting. Um, I got myself a little hot cup of peppermint tea and um, yeah, it's been warm here, but I've been trying to get back into a little routine of uh, doing some rug hooking every day. Yes, I kind of strayed from it. Um, you know, I've been reading out by the garden and, and going out to the beach and up to the lake and that sort of stuff. And uh, yeah, I've been spending a lot of time reading and looking through catalogs. Um, and this one just came in. So this is the Willow Yarns. And for those of you who are not familiar with it, it's, it's not for rug hooking, um, it's for knitting. Um, and you know what? It's beautiful yarns at a very good price. They came out with a new yarn and it's, um, it's right on the front, the Willow Daily Tweeds. And they're really, really nice and fun and, um, different. They're little tweeds, little specks of stuff on them and they, they knit up into very pretty little things and the colors are really nice too. I buy their, their Daily, which is a washable wool and um, this was some of it and I uh, dyed it myself. I think I might have shown it to you earlier, but I dyed it. It's got all these little pretty flecks of like a gray and a purple and a white. And um, I did finish one fingerless glove right here. So that's what it will knit up like. So this is knitting into this and it's different, it's fun. It wasn't probably what I was shooting for, but you know what? In the end, dyeing your own yarn is so much fun because you have fun creating the colors and then you don't know what even they're gonna come out like. And then when they do, you then knit with them and it, it comes out again, totally different. So it's so much fun. I just dyed this morning. I dyed two more skeins, uh, one on a, a, a taupey color to see what that would come out like. That's uh, That was more of like a a brown, almost like a navy blue mixed in with a dark brown. It sounds weird with a turquoise and a little bit of white and light brown. So when that's done drying, um, it's out in the sun right now. It's really warm out. And so I figured I'd throw them outside to dry. And a, a, a black with some red jewel tones in it and see what that knits up like because um, black on gloves always looks good. And I, I've been giving them out as um, gifts to everybody. So. I'm just enjoying that. So I'm looking forward to sharing all these gloves for this fall to whoever would like them. And I have a lot of young ladies um, who are looking forward to receiving them. So I have fun with that. And anyway, I've been um, working on the rug. Uh, not as much as I would have liked. Um, like I said, I've been so busy doing some other things and reading. And um, I just saw the other day... Um, a really nice little magazine and it has nothing to do with knitting or rug hooking but it's called the good old days and it's all about um, stories from people who um, still remember the good old days probably back maybe right around um, the depression and, and, and as hard as that might have been for a lot of people to get through a lot of people from the depression and onward share lots of very heartwarming stories about what it was like when you didn't have money and you, you just couldn't do anything you wanted or buy anything you wanted. You had to kind of, you know, make stuff up and make do and, and just, you know, everything was like a big treat back then, you know, to have an apple or an orange was a big deal. I'm not saying that's the way we want to live, but the stories just kind of center you and give you a really uh, humble appreciation for the things um, that I have, at least I know that, and how a simple life was... Um, just kind of the norm back then and now people strive to have a simple life you know how hard it is to find that simple road to happiness as opposed to all the stuff that we do um, and that's why I love rug hooking and knitting because I find it such a gentle uh, little hobby that can be shared with others 
and um, it can be as creative as you like and not as creative and as very simplified as you like by just buying your yarn from somebody or to dyeing it yourself or uh, making something for yourself or making something for somebody who needs a little gesture of, of love and kindness. So that's always a good thing. Um, yeah, so that's what I've been doing. My hands are a little red. Um, uh, some of the dye didn't come out all the way on my hands, so I'm going to have to throw some bleach on it. But uh, what else have I been doing? Been uh, cleaning up uh, uh, some of my uh, stuff. There's there's a lot of stuff down here, so I've been going through it and trying to clean it out and um, get rid of some things that I don't think I'll be using anymore, even for rug hooking and books and stuff. So. Uh, just to make room for the stuff that I have and it's it was overpowering me and overwhelming me so um, that's always good to kind of go through your stuff from time to time and and weed it out more isn't always better ladies uh, I know even when it comes to wool we can sometimes become pack rats and you know what how much wool can one person have I know that sounds like an oxymoron but it's true we, we sometimes we can have too much so and I'm kind of leaning towards maybe even starting to hook just with yarn um, because it's it's easier, it's fun, and I enjoy having it in, not having to cut strips and all that sort of thing. So, you know, even your mindset with your hobby can, can change gears midway through, um, and that's fine. That works, whatever works. I'm, I'm a believer in whatever works, never say never, always try something new. Uh, it's all good, so. Uh, I'm hoping you all have been hooking away or just enjoying the hot summer. It's been really warm here um, in the Northeast and um, up in the 90s, quite a few days. Uh, we finally got some rain, so that's a really good thing. Um, so anyway, just for those of you who are tuning in, uh, I rug hook and I knit. And I knit only on a little loom. I have some bigger ones for hats, but basically I just love to make gloves, and that's pretty much what I've been doing, gloves and hats. Uh, I've been trying to venture into, oh, oh yeah, I've been venturing on a bigger one of this size to make um, my granddaughter's afghan, and that is coming along. I've only got a few more squares left um, in the white color, in this color, uh, to finish up. I think I've got like six more squares left and I'm done and then I can sew them all together and I'm going to be excited about sharing that afghan with you and hopefully her rug too. Uh, let's see, I've been working on it, like I said, um, I've been really not a good rug hooker, <laughs> but um, I have been getting a lot done. Let's see if I can lift some of it up and share. Uh, Oh, what I could. I've got a lot of this side done, as you could see, uh, and at the top. So there you go. We're on the background. And um, one of my knitting friend ladies uh, was at our group one day, and she says, Hey, Annette, I have this hook, and I don't know. I guess it, it looks like a crochet hook, but it's got a, a wooden handle, and I've never quite seen a crochet hook with a wooden handle. Would that be a rug hook? And so she showed it to me and here it is. It is the rug hook of my dreams. I've been looking for this rug hook that if somebody could make it, and I even went to a metal smith to see if they could kind of create what was in my mind and um, they could for quite a few dollars. I think around fifty dollars they wanted to charge me or something like that and so I kind of just put it on the back burner because my little MCG textile hook um, was still working. But if you could see the two, they're just a little different. Let's see if I could do that for you. See that? They have a little different shape. This is like, I can't explain it. It's just a different shank altogether. It widens, as you could see. It gets wider. Um, it's got this great tapered head, uh, almost like, um, what's her, like a Richie hook, but rounded, not as sharp. And I'm just amazed. I'm just amazed. So I got it. I got it for free. We bartered and I got some other stuff and we, we, yeah, so that was all good. Um, and what else is going on? Uh, nothing much, just enjoying, uh, dying 
wool. And like I said, for those of you who rug hook and like to use yarn, that's just so much fun. And Seal Harbor Rug Yarn has always got some new colors coming out. So um, I went online the other day just because I like to look at the colors and see what they're doing with colors. And they've added a lot of new variegated colors, which is always nice for, you know, the effect of trees and leaves and all that stuff, the aged look. And yeah, so um, don't forget about them because they really have some lovely yarn. And I think my next rug might be with all yarn, maybe a little outlining. Like I said, I like outlining things um, in uh, the wool fabric because it gives a nice sharp edge. And it also just gives a very interesting textural difference um, look to your rug too. And I like that. I like when you look at a rug and you could see other things in it besides just the design. You then It takes on like a second life of its own. So... Um, that's it and uh, yeah so anyway I subscribe to good old days if anybody knows another magazine I heard reminisce is kind of fun um, reminisce is a name of another magazine kind of like good old days uh, and um, yeah it, it's just about the simpler times that we you know when we were back then you know everybody's grandma was crocheting and knitting and um, there was just something heartwarming about, you know, going to grandma's house and seeing her, what she was working on and what she was knitting and just to see how kind of content she was, uh, to do that and not always striving for more, 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 um, more excitement, more this, more that, you know, there's, there's something very peaceful about a nice, quiet, simple life that, um, I strive for in my own life because the world is kind of chaotic and, um, it's nice to have that little escape to go, whether to whatever hobby, your rug hooking or your, your knitting or cro crocheting. It's just a very calming thing to have. So keep that going, ladies and, and gentlemen, because there's a lot of male knitters out there now, which I think is so awesome, and, um, and rug hookers. And why not? Why not? Why should that just be for women? Absolutely not. We have um, very talented artists in both both sides so um, what else what else that's about it so I just wanted to touch base with you I haven't received any new books and um, if anybody did buy any new books drop a comment down there and let me know of something that you think is outstanding and wonderful and um, that would be great to share with everybody else so uh, this is a short video, and I, you know, didn't also had a little problem with my battery on my camera. I had to replace it, and for a while there, we didn't know what was wrong with it. So again, that kind of caused a problem and all that fun stuff. But I wish you all well. I wish you some happy hooking and happy tea time, happy coffee time, and... I am looking forward to the fall coming where I will hopefully be back to doing some more regular shows and joining you uh, on our little rug hooking journey and knitting and whatever else I feel I can share with you to make your life a little bit more fun, enjoyable, happy for the day, the moment, I'll be there. So again, stay well, happy hooking, and I'll see you soon, friends. Bye.